Hello, Gary Smith here. I'm going to show you precisely how to schedule revenue over time using the GSP Revenue Schedule app. Let's start with an opportunity. I'll add some products in the usual way. We'll have some generators, services, and a software license. Your products will obviously be different, but it doesn't matter. The critical point is we want to spread the product revenue over time. Here are the standard quantity and sales price fields. I'll enter the quantity for each item and I'll use the standard sales price for the time being. So the value of the opportunity will of course be the sum of the quantity times the sales price for each product. However, these two fields belong to the app and they let us define how to spread the revenue over time. So for example, Close date on this opportunity is mid-April, and perhaps that's when the revenue for the generators begins and lasts for 10 months. The services work begins in May and runs for five months. And the software license starts in June and we're spreading the revenue over 12 months. Click Save. Here's the opportunity amount. It's made up of the three products we've added. And you can see that these revenue schedules have been created. You can view all of them using this button, Mass Edit Revenue Schedules. And you can see the revenue schedule dates and amounts for the three products. We're using US date format here, by the way. Now, a few things might happen. The salesperson may need to change the schedule parameters as the opportunity progresses and she engages further with the customer. We can use the Edit Line Item Schedules button to do this. For example, let's change the generator schedules from 10 to 15 months. And maybe the services revenue doesn't start in May. Maybe we need to move it to June. So that's all very straightforward and the schedules all immediately update. Another thing that might happen is the deal slips and we need to change the close date. When this happens, all of the revenue schedules automatically move by the same number of days as the close date change. In other words, there's no extra work for the salesperson and everything stays in sync. Here's something else. Maybe the revenue for some products doesn't occur in a straight line. We do have an S-curve revenue profile, but for now, I'll make a manual adjustment to the first two schedules for the services. That might reflect some sort of ramp up, for example. Now then, you can see this figure in red. That's telling me there's a difference between the value of the product that I added to the opportunity and the value I'm now scheduling. If I hit save right now, the value of this line item will reduce to the amount I've scheduled. And that makes sense because I want the value of my opportunity and the value of the revenue I'm scheduling to be the same. However, we also have this auto adjust button and that spreads the difference over the remaining months. In other words, the revenue I sliced off the early months has been added automatically to the later months. So now, I'm back to scheduling the full value of the product. Let's hit save and go back to the opportunity. Before we look at the dashboard, I want to show you one other thing. Let's set this opportunity to one and reopen our mass edit page. You can see that the revenue amounts have copied over into this updated projection column. So the revenue amount represents the revenue we thought we'd get when the deal was won. But afterwards, we can change the updated projection field based on what actually happens. For example, perhaps the services revenue was lower in the initial months, but we expect it to be higher going forward. In other words, you can make that comparison between the revenue expected at the time the opportunity was won and how things are actually panning out. Incidentally, we also automatically updated the revenue schedule status column 
when winning the deal. You can change these pick list values to suit your own business. Let's go to the dashboard. You can see there's a series of charts and reports that come pre-built with the app. I'll pick out one or two examples to show you. This number tells me the total value of scheduled revenue from one opportunities due to land this financial year. Of course, the deal may have been one last year, but the revenue will fall in this financial year. And we can see that month by month here. I also know the value of pipeline scheduled revenue due to land this year. In other words, the opportunities are open, but if we win them, there's scheduled revenue landing this year. And here's a different perspective. This chart tells me the expected revenue. That's schedules from one opportunity is at 100% and the weighted value of schedules from pipeline opportunities. As you can see, there are other charts, scheduled revenue by product family, for example. And for any of these reports, you can drill down to the underlying detail and you can adjust them to suit your own needs. For example, you might want to add territory or account type to this report. So that's how the app works. There are three things that you can do now. One, take a trial of the app. You do that by going to the App Exchange listing, logging in, then clicking on the Get It Now button. There's no card or payment details required for the trial. And as you follow the installation process, you can choose to install the app in a sandbox or your production environment. Incidentally, there's a setup guide over here down on the left, and that tells you how to adjust the page layouts to use the app. It's very straightforward. I said there were three things. The second is you can get in contact with me and my team, and we will walk you through the app. Maybe you have some questions or you want to talk about how we can customize the app to meet specific scheduling needs in your business. For example, we've adapted it to accommodate quantity scheduling for many customers. And the third option is to read some of our other articles about scheduling revenue. For example, this post about revenue recognition in Salesforce. There are links to all three of those things below the video. That's it. Thank you. Good luck.